Hi everyone, we're gonna build a tiny dancer dance party. Let's get started. Hi everyone, welcome to STEM at Home. My name's Kevin Beck and I'm the resident explainer of things at Lenovo. Now we know this distance learning thing has been hard for everybody, for parents, for teachers, and for students. And we're here to help. So today I'm gonna to take you through the science behind a simple electric motor and we're gonna build a dance party with a bunch of tiny dancers. Just a quick note, science is a lot of fun, but sometimes it can be a little bit dangerous. So make sure you have an adult present when you build your project. What makes electrical motors work is the electromagnetic field that is generated by the combination of the electrical power from the batteries and the magnets. And that's very, very important in anything that you ever use that has anything to do with computing. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my wire and I'm going to bend it so that the two ends come together so that I can find the middle. And the whole time I do this, it's really gonna work out better in the end if you try to keep everything as flat and straight as possible. I'm gonna take my pliers and I'm gonna use those to make this bend here very, very, very tight to start with. Um, and y'all, this doesn't have to be completely exact. It's just a little easier at the end to get your dancer dancing if everything is as close to flat, straight, and well-balanced as possible. All right, so now I'm going to take my battery right up against my wire and try to bend it. These are pretty strong magnets, so it's gonna pop right on there. And let's do a little test and see how close we are. So let's move on to the fun part and let's get this tiny dance party started. I really do hope you enjoyed learning about electric motors while we built our tiny dancer dance party. So stay tuned for more videos in this series coming soon. We're taking it back to.